Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. And here in Seattle, our smoke has finally blown away and it's still a nice 72 degrees, but at night it's starting to get cold. So I'm thinking fall is finally here, yay! Although I love summer. So I picked up from my local library, which isn't open yet. I actually cried when I got to the library and had to stand in line outside and wasn't allowed in, which I understand. I am the nice librarian came and gave me my hold, which is from freezer to cooker. Delicious whole foods meals for the slow cooker, pressure cooker, and instant pot. I'm looking forward to this because when summer ends and fall begins, I start cooking differently. I stop making potato salad and baked beans and hot dogs and hamburgers, etc. And I start using my slow cooker and my instant pot more. I don't have a pressure cooker, but basically the instant pot is that. This is by Polly Connor and Rachel T. Meyer, and it came out in 2020. It's new. So glad to get it from my library. Let's take a look. Oh, she dedicates it, or they dedicate it, to the hardworking parents who make dinner time around the table happen. Now, this is my first Cookbook Divas video with some reader glasses. Not sure I like the way I look in glasses, which is why I haven't broken down and gotten any yet other than readers. I don't need them for driving. I need them for reading. But I thought, eh, even if I look like a total dork in them, it'll help me read the contents to you without squinting. Squinting is not attractive. So let's dive in. This book starts with an introduction, as they all do, about our recipes, how to use our recipe icons, slow cooker basics, which I actually need to read in Instant Pot Basics, freezer cooking basics. I get the gist, but I bet there's some tips in here I didn't think about. Of course, every cookbook has an equipment section. Then we'll start with the chapter on breakfast, a chapter on chicken and turkey, beef, pork, I'm going to skip through these quickly because I'm a vegetarian, but I do cook some things in the Instant Pot and Slow Cooker for my boyfriend, like chi chicken and beef, although I'm holding my nose while I stir it. <clears throat> now we go to soups, chilies, and stews, which I always alter the recipes since I'm a vegetarian. I just throw tofu in. And chapter six, pastas, salads, and more. You can do a salad in a freezer? What? I'm sure they mean like grain salads, right? Uh, fully cook and freeze recipe instructions, how to keep your food safe, super important. Cooking times charts for slow cooker and instant pot, yes, I need this, thank you. And acknowledgements. Introduction, oh, here's the two authors, yay. Introduction, how can I get dinner on the table tonight? From our experience feeding our own families, writing a food blog, and teaching freezer cooking seminars for many years now, we know this is a looming question you're asking almost every day. Hey, we are too. We're guessing you understand the benefits of eating at home. You get how important it is to look your kids and loved ones in the eye over a meal and talk about your day, etc., etc., etc. Home cooked food, whole food ingredients is better for you. But as we also know, no matter how well any of us plans, getting a healthy dinner on the table on a weeknight can be a struggle. And this book came out before coronavirus and before we were all virtual schooling our children. <laughs> yes, even more important. So this is very valuable. Okay, how can I get dinner on the table? Here's a flow chart. Do you have any freezer meals? Nope, do this, yep, woohoo. How do you, do you like mushy processed food? Not really, yep, we give up. These ladies are funny, okay. These ladies are funny, okay. The 10 commandments of slow cooking. Use thy meat thermometer. Um, I don't own one, oops. This is cute. Number five, many meals cook much faster than thou thinkest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> instant pot questions, instant pot basics, how much liquid, what do you do if you open your cooker to find that your meal isn't done, now what? Brilliant. Five steps for successful freezer meals, the do's and don'ts of freezer meals for the instant pot. I need this chapter so much. Oh my God. I got to get off this video and start cooking. Safe ways to defrost frozen meals. I need this. I don't know enough about this. Okay, equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breakfast. Let's find out what's going on. They're going to show us how to make a five ingredient breakfast casserole. I like the sound of that. A Denver omelet casserole. Blueberry French toast casserole with vanilla glaze. Hello. Pumpkin pie French toast casserole with fresh whipped maple cream. Brown sugar and cinnamon steel cut oats. Peanut butter cup steel cut oats, 
apple maple steel cut oats. Okay, that's all a little too sugary for my household, but it sounds delicious. Instant pot. But if I had my nephews over for the weekend, I don't have to feed my nephews healthy food all the time. That's the, the privilege of being an aunt. Uh, not a lot of pictures. Okay, here's the blueberry French toast and the vanilla glaze. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Pumpkin pie French toast. Nice picture. I need pictures. Makes eight to ten servings. Good, because nephews are growing and they eat a lot. Uh, I feed them sugar on the weekends. Yeah, for sure. My boyfriend has to eat boring oatmeal with no sugar. Ha ha. He's older. Don't tell him I said that. Here they are putting their stuff into muffin tins. Now we're in the chicken and turkey chapter. I'm not going to show you the whole book. I'm just going for the highlights so you know what to expect. Cheesy chicken taquitos. Honey bourbon chicken. Fiesta lime chicken bowls. Hawaiian chicken. Jack's chicken and dumpling stew. I've made chicken and dumplings in the Instant Pot and my boyfriend almost died of happiness. I don't want him to die though, but I want him to be happy. Pesto chicken sammies, teriyaki chicken thighs, Asian lettuce wraps, etc. So we'll, oh, nice picture. We'll take a quick little, I like this book. It gets down to business, doesn't waste a lot of time on pictures that you don't need. Yum. Fiesta lime chicken bowls. I love knowing what something's supposed to look like when I make it. Garlic chicken thighs. Well, we all know what chicken thighs look like. Okay. Trying to move to the next chapter on beef. Oh, here's the chicken and dumplings. I admit, as a lifelong vegetarian, that looks really good. And filling and something you want to eat in autumn and winter. Meatballs. I will not be making those. I will be buying a Trader Joe's meatballs and reheating them. But anyway, chicken sammies, la la la, Asian lettuce wraps. We all know what those look like, but that's a good picture. Where's the beef? There it is. Shredded barbecue beef sandwiches. Wine braised brisket with chimichurri. Did you know I'm also a wine blogger? So I have lots of wine in the house to cook with, and I hardly ever do because I don't think to do it. Something called manchos. Balsamic shredded beef. Asian style beef short ribs. Easy piso pesto meatball subs. The humble home cooks beef bourguignon. How did I do in my pronunciation? Don't tell me. Zesty Italian shredded beef subs. French dip grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, Whew, I can't look at these pictures, so I'm going to skip this chapter. Okay. Probably looked delicious to you. Shredded beef and cheese taquitos. See, I will just alter this recipe, put some fake beef in my taquitos, and I'll make taquitos for my boyfriend with the real beef. I'm not going to torture him with fake beef. Here's the pork chapter, oops, which is going to tell us how to make barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, mix and match Mexican shredded pork, pulled pork mojo tacos, be barbecue baby back ribs, Maple glazed pork loin, Greek pulled pork pitas, and Cuban style pork paninis. I'm going to pick one picture from this chapter to show you. There it is, the paninis. Okay, moving on to the soups. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm a big soup maker. I'm a big leftover eater. I'll make a soup on Sunday. Eat it Sunday and Monday. By Tuesday, I add something new. Then on Wednesday, I add two new things. And Thursday, we're done. Bye-bye. Creamy tomato basil soup, chicken taco soup, loaded cheddar potato soup, lemony chicken soup with orzo. I have a lot of recipes for that because I buy a lot of Mediterranean cookbooks and they all have that. Okay. Pizza soup. What? That's cool. Hearty Italian soup. I need a recipe for that. Turkey chillo. Chili with sweet potato and black beans. That sounds healthy. Autumn chowder. Yum. <gasps> Potluck pumpkin chili. Vegetarian tortilla soup. Yes, I love this cookbook. White chicken chili and barley and chickpea soup. This just seems to me to be a good workhorse cookbook. Like you would leave this almost out of your shelf so that you have access to it constantly because these are all things. For example, I just went to a funeral and I was so impressed that all these ladies that are slightly older than me had all these recipes they can just bang out because they always make them. And they bring them when someone's sick or at a funeral or a service and they just make this good food and bring it out. I need to kind of have things like this memorized comfort food that I can whip out and give to someone else because you got to give back. Someone just cooked for my family and I want to cook for someone else's when I'm feeling better and less sad. Chicken taco soup looks good. Avocado on top. Loaded cheddar potato soup. Wait, why is that so brown? I don't know. It's kind of confusing because I think a potato soup is white. Okay. <gasps> Lemony chicken soup with orzo. Yum. I would be using fake chicken, probably from Morningstar Farms, who did not ask me to do an advertisement for them. I just like them. Okay, 
I love this turkey chill. Ooh, autumn chowder. What's in it? Let's explore it. Bacon, diced onion, diced celery, diced carrots, black pepper, garlic, chicken broth, coarse, diced peeled russet potatoes, frozen corn, thyme leaves, bay leaves, butter, flour, milk. Yum. I would totally eat that potluck pumpkin chili. Okay. Moving on. Pastas, salads, and more. I'm very curious. How do you make all this kind of stuff from the freezer that you're, or that you're going to freeze? Okay. Weeknight meaty marinara sauce. Chicken parmesan pasta. Fake out lasagna. Marvelous marinara sauce. Veggie and bean stuffed burritos. Chicken cob salad. Asian slaw with chicken. Balsamic strawberry and chicken salad. Italian house salad with chicken. And now freezer staples. Here we go. Important homemade barbecue sauce. I, uh, mm, I don't have time for that. I work seven days a week. And I'm raising my nephews. And no. I'm going to buy barbecue sauce. I'm sorry. Pesto, I'm going to buy from Trader Joe's. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Low sodium chicken broth. Nope. Taco seasoning. I'm going to skip that part of the book, but you might enjoy that. Good for you. Meaty marinara. Is that a Bolognese? I don't know. Don't know why the lasagna is faking you out. Is it because it's vegetarian? And you know what? I love that there's no desserts in this book other than a breakfast chapter because you don't always need to eat dessert. I'm more of a savory person and random cookbooks throw in desserts at the end and sometimes it doesn't even match the theme. So my recommendation, five stars, buy this. This is awesome. I'm totally, this is a library book. I'm going to go buy it on Amazon because I need this. This is perfect. Autumn is coming. Not to be two games to throw on you. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through from Cookbook Divas. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, we're getting there, and YouTube. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.